telling me that I need to get back on my story time and shit, then let me know if y'all want me to do a story time, because I can. I, I probably got a few stories up my sleeve. I'll tell y'all about a little thotty that be chilling at Ale House, which is a bar. If you're not from Fayetteville, you wouldn't know. This bitch name is Tony, right? And I be going up to Ale House, so I've seen the bitch, like, all the time up there, right? He be wearing the same exact whole outfits. The shit be stuck up her cooch and her ass, like, bruh. Mind you, one of my friends wanted to talk to her, right? So she did. And then she gonna ask me what I think about the girl. And I'm like, I don't really know her, but I think she's a thought. She asked me why, right? Mind you, not just only does she wear whole outfits that stick up her cooch and her ass, but she be talking to every motherfucker in the building and dancing all over him. Everybody in Ale House talks about the bitch. Literally. You know, I gave my opinion. I didn't say much about her. But apparently the bitch heard me talking shit with my sister, right? She copped an attitude. All night. She ain't say nothing. But she had an attitude. All night. Look at this thing. Ha! <laughs> later on in the evening, my friend texts me saying she can't drive home because she's too drunk to get home so she needs a ride right L house she's not there so I call her call her call her to find out where she is at so I can come pick her up you know me being a good friend and all call her call her she won't pick up won't pick up won't pick up so I keep calling her she finally picks up and I'm like where you at you know I, I want to come get you all of a sudden I hear in the background I'm like a word now you got some balls, bitch. Now you got some balls. <laughs> oh, bitch, wasn't nobody fucking talking to you. One, two, I'm trying to be a good fucking friend. And three, you had nothing to say in fucking hell house. Don't start now, bitch. The fuck? You, I tell my friend, hey, where the fuck you at? I need the address so I can come pick you up. I didn't call to hear all that extra shit, you know what I mean? Call my friend. She don't want me to have her address. Bitch, she shouldn't be talking shit. No fuck. Like, bruh, bruh. Bitch, all the fucking time. Does she ever say anything to me in person? Nah. She a fucking phone gangster. Bitch, bye. The shit that was annoying as fuck to me was the fact that, bitch, I wasn't calling for you. Like, at all. I was calling to be a good friend, to make sure my friend got home safely. And you want to do some extra shit when you had all night to say some shit to me. And then you're going to sit there and say you don't want me to have your address. Bitch. I'm coming there to pick up a friend, not fight you. And baby girl, best believe if I wanted to fight you, I'm going to fight you. I don't need your fucking address for that shit. Real talk. And on top of all that shit, don't be a fucking phone gangster, bitch. If you want to sit there and talk shit all on the fucking phone, because there's a phone behind you, you corny as fuck for real. Like I said, I've seen the bitch since then. I've seen the bitch before then. She's a pussy. She really is. But no, every time she fucking sees me, she gives me a stank face. Bitch, I can make stank faces too. A lot better than you. A lot cuter than you. But that shit kills me, bruh. You gonna talk all kinds of shit behind a fucking phone and then talk about you don't want her, me to have your address but see me in person all the time. Ugh, but yeah, that was just a mini story or whatever. I'm gonna try to do story time more often now. But good night, bitches.